estimation the requirements of head of Span Bank. My name is Kariu Kokkonen. Welcome. This application can be found from our App Store. And it is application number 2.1. The calculation is done with Microsoft Office Excel program. This Excel consists of four different sheets. First of all, we have instructions where we can find a short description of this program. Secondly, we have input data. All required input data for calculation is given at this sheet. Then we have two more sheets where we can see the calculation results. The first one where all the calculations are shown in international units, liters, meters and kilowatts and so on. And another one in US units where we can see all same figures in gallons per minute and feet and horsepowers. Okay, let's start looking at the input data. At the first part, you can give the general data of the, your paper machine, company, location and machine number. In the second part, we need to specify the operation conditions of the paper machine. First, we need to specify the operating grade of the machine. Let's select for example number 4, which is fine paper. Next thing is real trim. For example, we could use 7200 millimeters. Real speed, for example, 1250 meters per minute. Wire speed is calculated automatically with the total draw of 3%, but you, we can give it manually if we know better. Trims from the forming section, and I would guess 160-150 mm is quite typical figure. Basis weight of base paper, which in this case when we are talking about copy paper would be 80 grams. Dryness, in this case case it we would need to give for example 97 percent which would be the dryness before sizing and finally headbox slice width program is calculating the slice width from real trim and trims if you know the exact slice width please add the figure in here Next step is to enter the headbox operation conditions and design data to the program. First thing is headbox design flow, which needs to be given, as well as headbox pressure loss. For example, 1800 liters per second and headbox pressure loss with the maximum flow, for example, 12 meters. After that, we need to enter the typical headbox operating conditions. First, headbox consistency, for example, 0.85%. Total retention of forming section, for example, 82%. And jet wire ratio. Of course, this can vary a little bit with cap formers from 0 0.95 up to 1.07 but let's stay with one in this example and finally we need to give some calculation parameters these are headbox recirculation 10% headbox overflow 2% machine screen reject rate for example 5% static pressure which is the height difference of off-machine silo and headbox, for example, 4 meters, and pressure loss at the machine screen. It varies from 1 to 2 meters and is at, at maximum 5 meters. 
Existing fan pump efficiency, 88%, is pretty typical. Normally it varies between 85 and 90 percent. And finally we need to double check the pump motor size. And let's assume for example in this case that it would be 1100 kilowatts. It is very important to double check that all this input data that we have given to the program is as nearby to actual operating conditions as possible. One easy way of doing the double checking is to check the fan pump requirements. At the bottom of the page we can find required pump head, required pump capacity and required pump load. For example, if required pump load calculated in here is higher compared to what we are actually measuring from the machine, we need to get up and change something. One of the things we can do is, for example, to increase the head consistency, in this case up to 1%, which in practice means that the slice opening is decreased from about 12 mm down to about 11 mm. And in this case it would mean that the pump load comes down to 888 kilowatts. And now it's time to look at the calculated results in detail. In this picture we can see the approach flow system and we can see the production figures of base paper and also the running data of fan pump in these running conditions. We can see also a list of numbers here and if we scroll down we can see the same numbers and flows in different parts of the approach flow system. Also at the bottom of the page we can see the fan pump operating parameters. And if we change to this last picture we can find the very same data, this time only in different units. When the existing conditions have, have been described to the system it's time to start doing what if analysis. For example Slice opening in this case is only 10.9 mm and headbox consistency 1%. This is little bit low side compared to the paper grade and for quality reasons very often slice opening could be bigger. In this program we change the consistency down to 0.8 which means that the calculated slice opening is now 13.7 mm, which for this kind of paper grade sounds much better. Now we can go to the picture and we can see how the fan pump requirements have changed. Normal running load is now 948 kilowatts, which is still 86% of the nominal load. Thus it looks from the motor point of view okay. Of course it's always very important to double check also the pump curve characteristics to be sure that the pump itself is good enough for these running conditions. If we then go further and assume for example that production is increased and new targeted real speed is 14 100 meters per minute. It's important to double check that also wire speed is changed accordingly. Now, when real speed has been increased to 1400, we could go again back to these pictures and we can see that capacity requirement of fan pump is 2392 liters, required motor load is bigger compared to the nominal size of the motor, motor is going to be overloaded. And the same thing repeated in here. Thank you for your interest.